In this video, let's implement the append method, which adds a new node at the end of the list. We are once again going to use a combination of slides and code to understand the implementation. We're going to learn this in three simple steps. Step one, we have to create a new node that will be added to the list. The node will contain a value and a next pointer pointing at null. Let's go back to Replit and start with this. Let's call the method append as we are adding an element at the end of the list. The method accepts a value that the new node should contain. Within the function body, we create a new node by instantiating the node class. We pass in value as an argument. This will initialize a new node with value set to the passed in value and next pointer pointing at null. Step one has been implemented. Now that we have a node that we can append, we have to address two scenarios. For step two, we're going to handle the scenario where the list might be empty to begin with. If a list is empty, we have to make the head point at the newly created node. Remember, the head pointer should always point at the first node in the list. If this is clear, let's go back to Replit and write the code. If this dot is empty, this dot head is equal to the new node. We will also update the size to keep track of the number of nodes in the list. This code now takes care of inserting a node at the end when the list is empty. Let's now proceed with step three, where we address the case where the list is not empty. Let's assume we are starting with a list that contains three nodes. Head is pointing at the first node and each node points at the next node and the last node points at null. To add a new node at the end, make the last node in the list point at the newly created node. This will ensure connectivity between the existing list and the newly added node. But the question is, how do we get hold of the last node? All we have access to is head, which is the first node in the list. Well, the way to reach the last node contains a logic similar to the print method, which we had seen in the previous video. The only difference is that instead of making the current pointer cross the last node in the list and point at null, we stop exactly at the last node in the list. We make use of a previous pointer and advance it till we reach the condition previous.next is not equal to null. That will ensure the previous pointer lands at the very last node in the list. Once you do end up at the last node, we make previous.next point at the new node. This will effectively append the new node to the existing list. If this visualization is clear, let's go back to Replit and write the code. So if the list is not empty, that is else block, we begin by traversing to the last node in the list. Let previous is equal to this dot head, since head is the only pointer we have access to, and we advance the previous pointer as long as its next element is not null. So while, Previous dot next exists, advance to the next node. Previous is equal to previous dot next. The while loop will exit at the last node where next points at null. As you can see here in our slide. Now we make the previous node point to the newly created node. So previous.next is equal to the newly created node. 
And of course, the size will be incremented irrespective of whether the list is empty or not to begin with. This is the implementation of the append method for a linked list. At the bottom, we can now call this method on the list instance. I'm going to replace all occurrences of prepend with append. If I now run the code, we see the logs in the console. We add 10 and the same is printed in the console. We add 20 and 30 and we see the list now contains all three elements in the right order. 10, then 20, then 30 since we are appending. Our code is working as expected. Now I want to take a minute to talk about the time complexities of both prepend and append. Appending a new element at the start does not depend on how many other elements are there in the list. So prepend has a constant time complexity. This should in fact be here. Append on the other hand requires we get hold of the last node in the list by traversing from the very beginning. We have a while loop and the time complexity is linear. But I did mention insertion and removal with linked lists is efficient, right? Well, it is possible to append a new node in constant time, but that involves maintaining a tail pointer that always points at the last node in the list. I will briefly talk about that later in the course, but for now, I want you to understand the very basic implementation of a linked list with just the head pointer. Remember, we are beginners and we want to start with the simplest code possible. All right, now that we know how to prepend and append, in the next video, let's see how to insert a new node at a given index in the list. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.